parameterized by how long is subsequence and what should be the very last um, uh, state. And you can see these uh, uh, diagrammatically if you draw. So assume that these are all of your states, right? Um, so you start from here, and, and you have observations O1. Uh, so here our observations are with axis O2, O3, OI minus 1, OI. Right? So now what I compute is, so here, vertically, these are always all possible states. And I want to find what is the path to these states that definitely ends up here at the kth state that is most likely to produce this outcome. Because then I'll have a recursion, simple recursion, right? All what I have to do is I have to go through all possible candidate states from which I can go to this state and pick the most likely. So let's denote by uh, probability PR uh, I K or say call it opt I K. What will be opt I K, which is the most likely sequence of states that has these outcomes, right? Uh, but um, ends up in a state SK. Well, clearly, this will be max of all probabilities opt I minus 1 through all states M. So M belongs to the set of states, right? Times probability from the end state to transition to the state uh, k times the probability that uh, for the out for the state uh, um, uh, let's see how did I call it e emission from the state sigma k to have observation ok so you simply take the largest probability. What, so what is the, you look at all probabilities, uh, optimal probabilities, uh, to end to one of these states. Uh, then you multiply that uh, with probability, say from state one to transition to k. Here it will be probability from state two to transition to k, and so forth. And then you multiply this with probability from this state to achieve observable OK, right? <laughs> Which is the uh, uh, observable O uh, I, so it's height observable. So this is height observable, right? So simply you look, uh, what is the most likely path uh, of length i minus 1, but then I multiply the end point of that path with probability to go to the uh, state k, and also with prob emission probability that if I am in state k, I will produce the corresponding uh, outcome. Right? And then at the end, of course, you can also have a, a, a back, let's call it backtracking, which is a, a, for I and output K, it tells you a, what is the 
state uh, sigma i minus 1 uh, that uh, has uh, right uh, when the say optimum was achieved here. So this is optimum. So you have a point then for the, from the eighth state to the state from which you arrived in an optimal way. So uh, I'll put the notes on the web. Trust me. I don't want, look, I could teach you some nice, simple stuff, but you will have zero use of it. This is what runs in speech recognition, in decoding codes, in bioinformatics. So if you want to know truly the most useful algorithms, you cannot, you know, you cannot make a rocket from uh, you know, scrap metal and uh, in your garage. If you want to do serious algorithms in industry, you have to really know heavy duty stuff that makes things click, right? But uh, you know, uh, it's, it's really worthwhile doing it just for the safety of your jobs. So I'll put the notes uh, on the web, please read them. And if you don't understand something, please come and ask me, right? Make sure you profit maximally out of it, because it can be the difference between working in an exciting place like Google or doing some chore in a bank and uh, wishing you'll you be dead, right? 